Hi, it's Martin, and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to polish tones in your highlights and shadows in Photoshop using color balance. You see, I'm working right now on this image, and author of this image is Anya Jankowska, so link is in the description, you can check that below. And I'm using this image to update my beauty Photoshop course. So also you can find the link in the description, there will be some updates and it gave me idea to prepare something for you here on YouTube about how you can improve the tones on your highlights and shadows. You see that was the image before, you can see it, it looks pretty good, but when you look at the skin in the area of highlights they are pretty much yellow, so how to take down or maybe add some colder color to improve the actual highlights and how to warm up the shadows a little bit, including maybe hair. However, it's not necessary. So that was the image before and that's after. As you can see, it looks much more uh, contrasting even if we didn't add any contrasts. Once again, before and we're going to get into this. Right now I'm going to remove that group to start all process since the beginning. And to do this, I'm using channels. You see, recently I'm really fascinated about channels. You can do a lot of things using channels and it's extremely helpful. So let's go to channels. And what I'm doing, I'm picking up the blue channel because let's hit the blue channel. Oh, turn off this ones. And the blue channel gives you a really nice view for the highlights. The other channels won't be that powerful for this, as you can see. They actually given the view for all of the face. Uh, there, there's much more red color and green color on the face than blue color. So only blue color can give you a really nice view on the highlights. What I'm doing, I need to take a selection. And you can actually see the selection will be in the place of the highlights. So it will be really nice view. And you're going to see that. Seems my computer is really slow right now surprising or rather not okay so the selection right now will be visible and we can go back to our layers and let's zoom out so we have the selection on the highlights as you can see we have highlights on the hand and what i want to do i want to take down the yellow color from the highlights so for this i'm using color balance and zoom this in and I'm not doing anything with blending modes even if I I could do this if I want to improve the lights and shadows but I just want to manipulate with colors right now so first of all I'm going to highlights and you can see the selection that is done here so from the highlights um, once again highlights and I'm going to add just a bit of blue color. As you can see, as I'm moving this, I, if I'm going to move this to up to 100, this image, especially the highlights, will become very blue, simply speaking, and it won't look really that nice. So I slightly move this slider up to 12 maybe, and I'm getting the look that I actually want. The other things could be cyan, which will be a bit similar, and I'm going to take down cyan just a bit once again, and I got the look I really want. Have a look how it looked before, and as I said, highlights were pretty much yellow, which I didn't feel is really suitable for the makeup or the hair. I want something that works together really well, so I wanted them a bit colder than the actual wear. Even if it's too much, feel free to take it down a little bit because of course I don't want to overdo this and here will be just five and the other part will be let's call this highlights once again highlights and the other part will be about shadows for the shadows I'm doing similar thing and I also take the selection from the blue channel I can just simply take a selection from the highlights I already did before and I'm going to open another color balance layer but this time as let's set this up as I want to improve the shadow area I'm going to press control or command and 
I. And now you can see the area that I'm going to apply the colors. It doesn't really mean that you have to apply the color for the background and it's very easy to clean this up as long as we would use the black color of the brush and paint over in the areas that you don't want the effect to be applied. So for now I won't be doing this, let's take a step back and let's have a look what we're going to achieve. I was improving highlights before and now it's time for the shadows. You probably noticed I'm not doing anything with midtones. I'm going to shadows and in this case I want to warming up the shadows a bit with reds and yellows. Of course with control because it will look too strong. For reds I just go into grab up to one and that will be already a difference. As you can see this image become much warmer and I'm going to try to do the same with yellows, just a really soft change and this change is actually really visible. As you can see the image become warmer. If you don't really fancy that a strong effect, I really like the effect it gave me on the face. I not necessarily fancy that on the background, however it's actually suitable and this image looks like it has much more character. Have a look once again and it's looking really really nice. I could give maybe one more, po one more point for the yellows, okay, and then I'm just going to take down opacity down to around 70. I believe that will be so suitable. Yeah, even could be more and this color balance I'm going to call shadows. I'm going to create a group, I'm going to call this tones and let's uh, have a look for the total image and you don't have to agree but I really love that image much better the tones are so much nicer and this is the way I really like to sort out my my tones not sure if it's a usual way um, that's the method that's something um, that I got from my own experiments and I hope you're going to like this if you have other methods whatever you have you can share with me and also you know a bit about the channels and you can use the channels for actually any kind of your work it didn't have to be color balance it could be just a colors applied for highlights and shadows and as you know every way is just good Thank you and I'm going to speak to you once again in the next Photoshop tutorial.